All right, so today we're going to be talking about white balance, and as you can see, uh, the white balance in this photo is pretty far off. So this is an HDR image. I did not use any flash. Uh, we just have a lot of light coming in from the outside, and we have these uh, warm light bulbs here. Uh, it's, it's a little too warm in this photo. So let's get out the white balance selector tool right here. Click on that. You can also press W on the keyboard and try to find something in the photo that you know is completely white pure white so let's click on this door okay already that's looking a lot better that's that's looking pretty good um, we've told Lightroom now we've given it we've given it this data we've we've given it um, a reference we've said hey this is pure white so what it's done is it's made this door actually now pure white before it was a little bit orange so we said hey this is pure white and so it adjusts the white balance accordingly in the whole photo and it's looking pretty good so not only do you need to find something that's pure white to click on to give it this reference but also make sure that the area of you know whatever white thing you're clicking on is not being affected too strongly from any one particular light source. So for instance, we know that we have a lot of blue light that comes in from the outside through windows. You're going to get blue light. So this tub, of course, is white, but it's got a little bit of a blue tint in it because it's right next to this window. So if we were to tell Lightroom, hey, this is pure white, well now the room has gotten a lot warmer because what we've told uh, Lightroom is white is actually kind of a little bit bluish, so it's really having to compensate hard and making the whole room uh, very warm to try to turn this tub into pure white. Um, so try to find something, and so for instance over here, like these sinks that are underneath these warm uh, light bulbs, if we tell Lightroom that this is pure white, well now it might get a little bit too cold if say we click on the top of the sink say like right here right underneath those lamps now now the image is too cold because we had a lot of that warm light reflecting off the top of that sink there so try to find something that um, is kind of in the middle kind of not being too affected from uh, the windows or any uh, warm light bulb so I find this to work pretty good over here this door and generally, actually, for bathrooms, uh, I like to make them a little bit cooler than the rest of the rooms, you know, because you want a bathroom to come across as very uh, clean and bright, uh, whereas a, a bedroom or a living room, it can be a little bit more cozy, a little bit more warm. Another thing you can do is, especially when you're shooting HDR, and you want to have that uh, real perfect white balance, real nice and bright look to it, and you're not overwhelming the room with a flash, um, you can push the whites up really high. So um, here, sort of to compensate for not being in love with uh, the white balance you're able to achieve, you can just flood the room with whites in the um, with the white slider. So we've sort of uh, lessened the impact of that the white balance has to a degree just by flooding the room with some more pure white. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about HDR photography for real estate, check out the description below. I have an online course that will walk you through the complete process and share with you uh, tips and tricks to be able to edit your houses faster. Uh, the typical house takes me about 10 minutes to edit, which is quite a bit faster uh, than I was when I first started. So I've detailed everything I've learned in my complete workflow in this online course so that you don't have to spend a ton of time editing each photo, each house. Um, it really adds up. And if you can get the time down that you spend on each house, you can shoot more houses and ultimately make more money. So check that out if you're interested. It also includes all the presets I use as well. Thanks.